Thank you for joining us. I'm Storm Team A Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca. Our state remains in a tornado drought. From the 50s to the 80s, some of the biggest tornadoes in the country happened here. But it's been relatively quiet since, until a powerful EF3 formed last spring and Gaylord took a direct hit, killing two people. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Sarah Flynn headed north to show us the destruction and how the community has rebounded over the past year. It's coming right now. May 20th, 2022. Oh my God, that's an actual tornado. Hey, video on. I you know, but we're about to get ran over. Oh there was something a little bit different about that day. Oh God, it's hitting us. Why'd it happen here? Why'd it happen here? Why did, why did we get one? for Gaylord, the first time the city was ever placed in a tornado warning. You could see large pieces of debris in the air. Oh God, it's hitting us! And this lady standing there, Mrs. Wisniewski, standing there praying the rosary and nothing around her. And a um, neighbor across the street's house gone and a few other ones are damaged and I looked at my house in a standing, you know, so emotional. A tornado officially touched down near Gaylord at 3.35 p.m. and traveled a very long 16.6 miles, stayed on the ground for 22 minutes. The max estimated wind speeds were right around 150 miles per hour, and that puts it safely in the EF3 range. You know, as someone that is a part of this community, the, the Gaylord community, when you're looking at a, a storm like that on radar that's moving into, you know, a town of, you know, people that you know and, you know, our families work there and, you know, workers have children there, you know, it's a, it's a somber moment as well. The Gaylord National Weather Service was on heightened alert that day. Favorable wind shear was in place leading to a slight risk, level 2 out of 5, being issued for the area. The last time that the state saw an EF3 tornado was back in 2012 uh, in uh, the National Weather Service Detroit's forecast area on March 15th, an EF3 tornado struck the city of Dexter. Cornish, a meteorologist for the National Weather Service, drew the tornado warning polygon, sending out the warning. Once it's drawn, it takes about a minute to alert the public. They received about seven or eight minutes of lead time with the warning, and then uh, depending on where you were in town, so the east uh, side of Gaylord got about 11 minutes of lead time. That time is typical for a warning, but felt short to those awaiting their fate in town. Those in Nottingham Forest Mobile Home Park saw some of the worst damage paired with businesses along Main Street, like the local Goodwill store. They were telling me stories, you know, they had just heard that there was a tornado warning and it was only moments later when the thing came barreling through. Definitely a tornado right here. This is out the police department back door. Just about a mile away. Well, it happened to be right at our shift change um, and we were fortunate enough to be having a heavy staff today on both shifts. Gaylord Police Chief Frank Clays had nearly double his staff on standby to help. We had a pretty good plan, and, and as that weather broke enough, up went the door and our officers responded to check on our citizens. In the days to follow, the community got to work to rebuild. Neighbors helped neighbors get debris to the curb. Hundreds of utility trucks poured in to help restore power. It was kind of one of those things that's terrible that takes such a, an awful event to bring about such an amazing uh, outcome, but I, I don't think I've ever been prouder to work for the city or to be a part of this community. There still are some scars. You can still drive through and see some scars. Nearly one year later, some are not back in their original homes. While some businesses were able to rebuild, the local Goodwill store looks the same. This is what's left of our, what was our new location. A pop-up location was established just down the road. Several of the same employees who worked through the tornado are still employed here. The community was super happy to see us back open. Um, the customers were coming in uh, right away and shopping the store as soon as we opened. Goodwill hopes to rebuild at their original location this summer. And for the rest of the community, the focus has shifted to preparedness. It's getting the alerts out fast enough and uh, make sure that we you know that we're constantly educating the people. 
sifting through lessons learned by this storm and having an even better plan going into this severe weather season. This includes having multiple ways to get warnings, such as a phone, weather radio, or television. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, is, is to be prepared. You know, you never know when, you know, severe weather is going to impact your town. You know, it could be this year, next year, or, um, you know, you're just never certain. And so the best thing to do is be prepared, you know, have a plan in place beforehand. It, it should be, you know, by, I would think by the end of this year, just a, a distant memory of the past.